it's Lindsay and it's Monday which means we are back for another video in our series about how to sew a commercial sewing pattern. Today is the second video of four um, and today we are going to talk about the instruction booklet that comes with every sewing pattern. So again I'm going to change the camera angle so you can see what I'm talking about and let's get right into it. Okay, so as you guys know, we are working with Butterick um, 5466, um, just this skirt pattern. And inside the pattern envelope is an instruction booklet. This is the same for every sewing pattern comes with one of these. Um, and what you can see from the instruction booklet is really everything you need to know to um, sew the entire garment. So we're gonna talk a little bit today about all the information that you can find in here and how this will help you um, along the way. So from the, from the very first page, you can see that it'll tell you the pattern name um, and it'll also tell you how many pages are in the instruction booklet in case um, you think you might have lost some of the steps, you can refer um, to this here and each of the pages are numbered. So you can see this is three of three and this is one of three. And then it's going to remind you of you know what you're making and the different variations that are available. Again, those line drawings there so you can get um, a more more precise idea of the style lines of, of each variation. And then below that is going to be all of the pieces, um, all of the pattern pieces that are going to be in this sewing pattern. So you can see they kind of sort of resemble a skirt and resemble a belt. Um, and it'll tell you piece one is the front. So you can refer and say, oh, that's what piece one looks like. Um, it's the skirt front. And then if you wanted to see specifically um, 13 and 14, you just follow along until you find 13, 14, and it's the front facing and the back facing for skirt D and E, which is different than the front facing and the back facing for skirts A, B, and C, which had more of the rounded facing versus more of just a rectangular facing. Now, if I were making skirt A, for example, what I would do is I would go through this list and I would find skirt A and then I would note everything I needed to cut out. So piece one, piece two, piece three, and piece four. So that's all I need to make skirt A. Um, and then if you follow along down here, it restates the measurements again, which is helpful. Um, so you don't have to necessarily grab the pattern envelope um, and find the measurements there. You can um, just find it all here, all in one place. And then we'll get into the fabric cutting layouts. First of all, it's going to tell you what this little bullseye means. And we'll talk about this a little bit more in next week's video as we start to look at specific pattern pieces. Um, this section will also tell you that there's a 5 8 seam allowance and that the seam allowance is included in each pattern piece. Um, that's pretty common, um, both the seam allowance and the fact that they're included um, in commercial patterns. That's that's pretty standard. Um, so, uh, this little chart here though is something that I refer to very often when cutting because if you have pieces that are supposed to mirror each other, um, it's very important that you have your fabric facing the right way and your pattern facing the right way. Also, as we go through here, it gives you some basic information about um, cutting and how to lay out your fabric to prepare for cutting. So it'll tell you that your options are to cut through single thickness or double thickness. Um, and the, and we'll get into more specifically how to know which one of those to do. Once you cut into that fabric, as you know, like you're committing to it. So uh, make sure that you've double checked all of this and read through it and really understand it. But basically what happens after that is it gives you fabric layouts and and layouts for the pattern specific pattern pieces. So again, we're going to assume that we're making skirt A here. And remember earlier, I said I was going to go through this chart over here and notate the pieces that I need. Well, here's another checks and balances. So it'll tell you for skirt A, you need pieces one through four. So that's that's pretty clear what you need there so you can double check and make sure that you have all your pieces and what they're supposed to look like. Um, and then it'll tell you if you're making a, the skirt A out of 45 inch fabric, that's what this is right here, this is how you need to cut it out. So you're gonna lay your fabric on top of itself 
folded over with the selvage, that's what the SL means, and the fold right there. So you're gonna fold your fabric over and then see that shaded gray part? Refer back up to this and that's gonna tell you that that's the right side of the fabric. So you know that the right side of the fabric needs to be facing each other, so right sides together, with the fold towards you and the selvage away from you, and then you're just gonna lay piece one here. And remember, piece one is dotted. So that means piece one is gonna be flipped upside down because up here it said that's the wrong side of the, uh, wrong side of the pattern. So piece one is going to be laying face down, piece two is gonna be face up, and then you have your two facing pieces here, and it shows you how to cut those. But if you're making um, piece, I mean, I'm sorry, if you're making skirt A, um, and you're not size eight or 10, you're size 12 all the way to 24, this is what your pattern layout is gonna look like. You can kind of see how the fabric is only folded over halfway, and then both of these pieces are placed on a single layer. So you'll see there's a selvage here and a selvage here and a fold here. So it's only folded over a part of the way. Again, the fabric is facing right sides together for the fold and then for the single layer, the fabric is facing up. And then piece one is placed upside down and then piece two, you need mirrored pieces. So you have one facing up and one facing down. And so you'll see it goes into the what a uh, 60 inch fabric is like. Um, so all for those are for all sizes, AS. So all sizes of 60 inch fabric for skirt A would be like this. So if you follow these little drawings, whenever you're laying your fabric out, it's going to make the most of the fabric cut that you have, the yardage that you have, and those charts that we refer to whenever purchasing our fabric, um, those are based on these drawings here. So you wanna go through and you wanna say, all right, I'm making skirt A, and I have 60 inch fabric, here's my um, pattern layout diagram. If I'm making skirt B, you wanna say, all right, skirt B, I have 45 inch fabric and I'm a size 20. So that's gonna be this chart here. Now it'll also tell you what inter how to cut out the interfacing. So you'll see for skirt A, there's interfacing for the facings. So they're all gonna be the same um, fabric widths, but the sizes are what's gonna indicate this layout versus this layout. And okay, here we get to the sewing information here. And it'll reinforce that the seam allowance is 5 8 and that the allowances are included. Um, and then it'll have a separate illustration key for all of the instructions. So you had one illustration key for um, laying out your pattern pieces and you have a separate illustration shading key for actually sewing. Now you're not necessarily gonna see all of these, it just depends on what the pattern calls for. Now also it has a glossary here, like number 20. It'll, this, is an, this is an instruction step that indicates um, that you need to slip stitch side edges and it's in all caps like that to help you know that there is an explanation of what slip stitch is. So then you would just go back over here to the glossary, find slip stitch, and it'll tell you how to make a slip stitch. Other patterns have a longer glossary with different terms, but these are the ones that they um, chose to explain in this pattern. And then we get right into the sewing instructions. So you'll see skirt ABC, this gray bar, everything under this is going to be instructions for skirt A, B, or C, all the way down here. And then you'll see you'll come across another bar that just says facing A. So if you're making B, you don't need to make facing A. You would, you would follow along the pattern instructions, follow along, and then, oh, here comes waistband B. So if you're making B, you're gonna do Instruction step one, two, three, and four. And then you're gonna jump over to your waistband, step number nine. And then if you're making skirt D or E, your instructions don't start until we get way over here. So skirt D and E on a gray bar, and then start the steps start over with one here, one and two, and so on and so forth. So there you go. That's the pattern instruction guide for 
Butterick5466. Don't forget, we are going to be doing a giveaway with this video series. McCall's Pattern Company is giving away three patterns to one lucky viewer. Um, all you need to do to enter is subscribe to our channel, subscribe to McCall's Pattern Company's channel, and I'll have a link to their channel below so you can find it easily. And then in each of the four videos that we are posting for this series, there's going to be a hidden word somewhere in the video. You might have seen it already ready hint hint um, and then on our fourth video just leave a comment with all four of the words from each of the videos in the series and we'll pick one of those people to be our big winner so thanks so much for watching um, hope you really enjoyed this video if so please give it a thumbs up um, next week we're going to be actually opening up some tissue paper and we're going to be looking at some specific um, pattern pieces and all of the information that you can find there. So I hope that you'll tune in. Thanks again. Bye.